EplesVox here back with another streaming tip video. This one's going to seem pretty obvious, but I think you need it framed in the right kind of use case for it to really sink in your head as to why you should use it as it took a long time for me to accept the same advice as well. But this can actually help a lot of people out with in terms of, you know, improving your stream quality and performance with some minimal research required. We're going to get into it right after this. The Mod Mic Wireless can boldly go where no mic has gone before. This microphone can attach to any headphones, requires no additional wires, features very low latency, a dual capsule microphone, 12 hour battery life, and LED indicators on the receiver so you know when you're muted and or when the battery is running low. And you can basically run your entire house without ever losing a signal. What more could you ask for? Learn more by clicking the link in the video description. This is Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, and this is the awesome dashboard bobblehead that came with my copy. <laughs> I huge Crash fan, especially Crash Team Racing ever since the 90s. Been a big game in my life. Was super stoked for the PS4 remaster, but as you can see in this digital foundry analysis video, at the time of recording, I still think a PS4 Pro and Xbox One X upgrade, specific enhanced upgrade, will come in the future, but at the time of recording on all four PlayStation and Xbox consoles at the moment, it only runs at 30 FPS, and it's pretty much guaranteed to only run at 30 FPS on the Switch. So if you're playing a game like this, and there are plenty of other examples, this is just the new one that came, that, you know, just came out that came to mind for me to record this. For when you're playing games like this, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to spend extra resources and bandwidth streaming at 60 FPS. Because you can't get 60 FPS out of 30 FPS. Like, yeah, if you're doing some crazy video editing filters, you can, like, interpolate it, but that looks really bad and not what you want for your game streams, and you can't do that live anyway. So why stream at 60 FPS? So, so my tip is actually going to be fairly straightforward, and people are going to be mad at how stupid this is. But I think you should make profiles based on the games you're streaming if you're someone who streams, like, the same games fairly regularly, or, say, you get a new game, you plan on streaming it pretty consistently for the next couple weeks, you might as well duplicate your profile here. So I'm going to go up here. This is my Twitch profile. Profile, duplicate. We'll call this Twitch CTR June 2019. Then go, go over to your stream settings, video, and drop it down to 30 FPS. Now, why would you do this? Well, on top of the fact that, fact that it may fix some frame pacing errors due to the game not being 60 FPS, although your console should theoretically be fixing that with the 60 Hertz refresh rate anyway, it will save you on resources and bandwidth, so you'll improve your performance and your quality, because that means that there's less frames for your allocated bitrate to actually work on, which means your individual per frame video quality would improve and be less blocky, be more detailed, be sharper. But if you're like if you're at 720p because of performance issues, you could probably, you know, 720p 60, you could probably kick it up to 1080p 30 for these specific scenes, get a higher resolution, get a higher quality, and make everybody happy. You're going to have a couple of people who will be like, oh, not streaming 60 FPS in 2019. But if you just explain that the game is running at 30 FPS, then there's objectively no reason to be streaming 60 FPS. No one needs your 60 FPS webcam for your 30 FPS video game. So if you have a, a webcam in the corner that can do 60 and you've got the game that can do maybe 30 max for the console, you recommend just running everything at oh, 30? Yeah. Absolutely. Just match and, it. And you can honestly, you can probably get better quality out of your webcam by dropping that to 32 if your game's running at 30 because it'll run at the slower shutter or, or yeah, slower shutter speed and get more light in and webcams do better at 30 than 60. Like your, your webcam does not matter in terms of frame rate. Right. Like, and again, there are plenty of games, especially for consoles and especially for Actually, for all generations of consoles going back, believe it or not, games did not all run at 60 FPS back on 6th and 5th gen consoles. That's just made up nonsense. And actually, Digital Foundry has a wide library of game testing going back to really old gen consoles and retro consoles, retro game testing with John's DF Retro series, showing the different frame rates that games natively ran at. There is a wide library of games that only run at 30 FPS or lower. So if you're streaming those games, you could even set up like a specific, not even just game specific, but just like, I'm just going to rename this 30 FPS Twitch profile. And then that way, when you're just playing those kinds of games or playing like the Switch, the Nintendo Switch, where a lot of the ports of the games only run at 30 FPS anyway, you can set this up, save yourself a lot of PC power, a lot of computer fan heat, and a lot of bandwidth with regards to your bits per frame. 
and produce a higher quality stream. Now, for some people's workflow, this isn't going to work out. You're going to be like, oh, I'm just going to forget to switch profiles before I stream, and then I'm going to be streaming Call of Duty at 30 FPS, and everyone's going to complain or something. And if so, that's fine. That's fair. You can set up Stream Deck profiles if you have one to switch profiles or something like that. But for a lot of people, I really think this is probably a more elegant solution that can get you that little extra bit of quality in some of these games where, you know, you might be annoyed that they're lower frame rate, but you get to present them in a better image quality. And that's a win for everybody. IMO. So, again, this was a super simple stream tip. I just got inspiration to make it after watching the Digital Founder video about Crash Team Racing. Excited to crack my copy open. Maybe I'll do some streaming of it this weekend. We shall see. I'm Apple Zox, here to make tech easier and more fun. I am your stream professor. That's a reference. And I'll see you in the next video. Go check out my video debunking myths about X264 CPU usage preset qualities and my NVENC video and my OBS masterclass if you want to learn more about streaming. I'll see you in the next one.